200 years of saving lives at sea, the Coast Guard celebrates its bicentenary. Probably safe to say many of us are not planning a trip to the beach today, but the staff and volunteers of Her Majesty's Coast Guard, they'll turn out as usual, just as they've done so for the last 200 years. Yes, the organisation is marking its double century today. Lakshmi Gopal has been finding out more about its history and its future. Coast Guard Rescue. For 200 years, the Coast Guard has been searching, rescuing and saving lives. It's such a feeling to be able to help people who've really been at a really low point and just make that situation at the time a little bit better for them to bear and then long term mean that someone goes home that maybe wouldn't have done. Originally set up to combat smuggling, her Majesty's Coast Guard was formally established on the 15th of January 1822. There's a certain amount of mystery about the Coast Guard, who he is and what he does. It's worked to keep people safe at the coast and at sea ever since. One more wrong, this is Coast Guard control. As illustrated in this video from 1972. Oh, hi there, Coast Guard here. We'll be down with you in a few minutes. Hang on. When we started, it was horseback patrols looking for smugglers and people like that. That's where the coast and the guard bit comes from. It's changed hugely. Um, we still rely massively on our volunteers, as, as we have done for the, almost the entirety of the 200-year history of the organisation. The Coast Guard now has 3,500 volunteers across 310 rescue teams, in addition to 10 helicopter bases. The way the Coast Guard saves lives at sea has changed almost beyond recognition since its creation 200 years ago, with a new updated radio network and with new technologies such as drones and unmanned vehicles playing a growing part in its search and rescue operations. You've got to embrace new technology, you've got to look to improve. You can't sit still and think we're doing the best we can, there's always improvements to be made, so we have to look at technology, so we're looking at fibre communications, improving our fleet to bring in electric vehicles, drone technology, how that can assist in searches and speed up finding people that are in difficulty. So really we've just got to be open to change and embrace it and look to improve at any point we can. To mark the organisation's milestone birthday, 200 throw lines are being cast into the seas around the four nations today as a symbol of the Coast Guard's life-saving role, past and present, on our shores and at sea. Lakshmi Gopal, BBC News.